Now, after an exclusive interview SK Koza had with Titimba and Kyungwane, his ex fiance also decided to have her own exclusive with Sunday World, telling her own story and setting the record straight. She stated they started having problems when SK Koza started beating her up in their four ways home in Johannesburg. He was later arrested and expected to appear in court in Randberg Magistrate Court on the charge of assault. But Ayanda withdrew the case, leaving fans with questions. Yeah. People know that when Ayanda arrived in court, all she did was go and sign that she wants to drop the charges and she wants to reconcile with me. Hmm. Now, Ayanda then said she then ended the relationship after a series of physical and verbal abuse that resulted in her miscarriage of their first child. Why is it that nobody called me to find out if I ever hit Ayanda? So much? Yeah. But I can say it to you today, live, I've never hit a woman in my life. Yeah. She also stated that SK impregnated his side chick whom he introduced to her as his friend when they bumped into each other for the first time in Boxberg back in 2020. Ayanda narrated that she started dating SK after meeting her with his baby mama on her birthday back in May. She said after several sexual encounters, she then fell pregnant. She said after the verbal abuse, she lost the baby and SK disappeared for a while before coming back to apologize. They then moved into an apartment in four ways so SK could be closer to his work, which was the Queen Studios at the time. I'm sure, I'm sure she's sweating now. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to your before, before you had a mask on. You're always at a mask. When you, when oh, you yeah. talk to your patients, so they never see you. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> She stated SK assaulted her in front of their friends after she shared the news of her miscarriage with his own sister. She said, and I quote, Remember he introduced me to his sister and said I could talk to her about anything because at the time I was struggling to cope with my miscarriage. He hit me on my chest and pushed me to the floor several times. And when I tried to stand up, he grabbed me, pushed me back onto the floor again. I sustained injuries to my knee, head and fingers. She said, Afterwards, he got into a vehicle belonging to his friend and drove off. Kiwane said he returned later and apologized and said he did that to her because his own father had abused him when he was younger. She said after a few days, they went to some event in Durban where he screamed and shouted at her in front of patrons. We were seated and he stood up and said he was going to the loo to pee. Some gogos apparently had asked to take a selfie with him, but he refused and started insulting them. He then came to me and asked me to come with him so I could witness him insulting these grannies. And when I refused, he screamed and shouted at me, she said. She said his brother, or Abdul Koza, a former Isbaya actor, then took him to a hotel and apologized to her for his brother's behavior. She said when she returned to Jobek, she went back to live with her sister. She said she lodged a complaint of assault against him at the Boxburg police station and the case was later transferred to another police station which arrested him. Kiwane said she withdrew the case after Koza and friends asked her to do so and urged them to go for mediation. But the mediation never took place and now I'm going to fight for this case to go to court. She said I want justice because he is not remorseful for what he did to me and has accused me of fabricating this case against him. Kiwane showed Sunday World a letter from Koza's lawyer which states that it was in fact the actor and not Kiwane as he claimed on TT interview who requested mediation now there you have it Mzansi. do let me know what you think at the comments section down below